Uh, Lucia, we have another 10 minutes because we have the possibility to one question for the audience. There is a microphone there. Anyone have questions? Thank you very much. Esther, I'm from Nigeria as well, nice and I'm really you. excited by what you're doing. Uh, in Nigeria, Facebook is very, very important. Uh, it's very, very popular. There's hardly a young person in Nigeria who doesn't have a Facebook account. Yeah. And in fact, it's becoming almost a problem because <laughs> yeah. some people abandon their studies. <laughs> They're on <laughs> Facebook 24 <laughs> hours. Absolutely. And this is actually a very good um, initiative mm -hmm. to make something worthwhile out of Facebook. And um, I want to know how is your collaboration with other NGOs because okay. um, I haven't heard so much about what you're doing. Okay. I'm, an I'm in environment and then we'll have a youth wing. Okay. I'm really interested in collaborating with you. All right. Thank and you. first, I'd like to say that back home in Nigeria, we have the World Bank Youth Forum, where, uh, World Bank Nigeria Youth Forum, <laughs> where we have a um, lot of young people coming together to engage the World Bank and in terms of making sure that our voices are uh, integrated, our op uh, opinions are integrated into World Bank strategy in Nigeria. And I had the World Bank um, Youth Group, Climate Change Group. Last Thursday, we had the World Bank Youth Forum, and the focus was on climate change, gender, and jobs. And of course, I was here, so I, was, I missed it. And we also have what we call the Nigerian Youth Can, which is like the network of young people working on climate change. We have the Nigerian Youth Climate Coalition, which is a coalition of young people individuals and students working on climate change. Um, we are part of the Pan-African Youth Climate Network, which is called AIC, and uh, we've been participating in COPS. I was in Copenhagen, I was, and then we we're also going to be in Durban. Um, on World Environment Day, we had what we called the um, um, we had a workshop on the hill because I felt a little bit somehow because most of the environmental organizations back home were not connecting to the environment. So we took like a group of 20 young people to hike uh, in Abuja and then we had a workshop on the hill to let them feel the environment, to let them get connected to the environment just beyond the social the social world. So we also work in that area. Um, we are definitely open to for collaboration, but our focus is towards Durban because we want Durban to really be the African Cup and we want to support that to reality. Other last, last question. There. Hi, uh, my name is Javi Sozi and I'm from um, Uganda. Um, I'm a huge fan of social media too because my background is in technology. But um, my question is, uh, being at the World Bank, I thought this would be a great opportunity to ask such a question. Um, a lot of countries that are being affected by climate change, and by the way, they are not even aware of uh, how intense or uh, how intense this can get. Um, most of the developing countries that, and, and continents like Africa, where there's um, uh, all the resources are limited, they have limited uh, capability to do more research on this. So my question is how far or how have you uh, made it possible for such countries to benefit from uh, research that is made by, by other countries uh, to, to visualize um, what's happening in their own countries. Uh, yesterday I was talking to uh, one of the professors from um, um, Howard University and he told me that he, they have made a study about Lake Chad, and from from the satellite view, they can see how um, it's shrinking. But when you go to uh, when you go to uh, Lake Chad and you ask the people, have you noticed any differences? Nobody can see this. So for me, I think in, in many of the developing countries, people cannot even see what's happening in their own con communities because they get used to things changing little by little. But eventually, these are huge differences. So for me, I think that there will be more need to um, combine resources and by resources I mean, I mean, I mean, of course, even the human resource and other funds that can be made possible uh, for countries to work together. Because I think then eventually um, climate change will affect everybody, whether it's, you know, across borders, it won't just affect one country from the inside. Thank you. Who want to answer? Or perhaps we, no. Comments or answer about this comment?
What I can comment from a local media standpoint is that the the effort in trying to get the message out so people are aware of what's happening in their local community and how it's affecting them. Uh, and I think the mapping piece is, is an important one that you bring up, is the idea of not just social media, but how technology plays into this, um, the, the mapping and, and, and looking at Africa. I mean, everybody's saying it as though it's one place, but it's many, many different countries that make up Africa, and there's many, many different types of access to information across all of those different countries. And, and I think the important thing in, in the midst of all that is to recognize, and to your point, is recognize that each of these countries has its own unique challenges, its own unique languages, and its own unique way of solving things, um, and to not take it as a whole. Um, but they, the idea is that to localize that message, to gain support, um, and to uncover the problems locally. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Jerry. And I think that we can close now. I want to to thank all the panelists, first of all, to be so concrete and fresh about this discussion that is very, very important for the present, not for the future only, for the present and for the future. I want to thank the audience to be here till now. And I think that this is a conversation which we need to continue. First, we continue outside, I think so, yeah? With a drink in an informal way, and after that, in our job and in our interconnection through social media. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.